What's going on everybody? It's your boy JD back again with another video and I would like to say thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit me up on my social media links which is in the description down below. Hit up my Facebook page, hit up my Twitter, hit up my Twitch and don't forget to hit up my hitbox.tv. A couple videos ago I talked about 11 year old boy Cuckoo Knight HD. He had lost his guardians in destiny because he gave his controller virtually via share play on the PlayStation Network on PS4 to a person named Kermit the Frog. Kermit the Frog went up on his game and deleted everything that meant anything to this person. Cuckoo HD bursted up in tears, started crying. I would have done the same thing because Destiny, whether you like it or you hate it, this game is a farm fest. You have to dig, you have to play for hours, you have to do everything to get what you want it like I don't want to talk about it right now but anyways it looks like they found the guy that's been doing it It wasn't the person who owns the Kermit the Frog account there's a 17 year old boy who's been doing this he'll go to his friends or whoever who has a PS4 go online he will tell people hey I can hook you up give me the controller and I'll set you up to win help them in progress in the game and then when they give him access to the game, it just wipes them out clean without them even knowing. Sometimes or when it happens, it's just too late. They can't do anything to stop it. They're calling him Chris. That's the name. His alias name is Chris. And he said that I don't know what the big fuss is about. Suck it up and move on with life. What else is there to say? I have something to say about it, but maybe I'll just keep it to myself. He has done this to a couple Destiny accounts. He's also done this to a GTA 5 account. He's just a fraud. It's not cool, but I will tell you this. You can talk to strangers anyways because you're going to be online. That's what you do. You talk to strangers. They're not going to hurt you unless you give them control. So don't give people control to your game unless you want crazy things to happen, like losing your progress. When Game Informer spoke to Chris and they confronted him about this, he told them initially that he had only deleted one account, which was Cuckoo Knights. But when they confronted him, the evidence... He confessed to multiple incidents and he said that he's done it before and fuck who knows he might do it again because there's no consequence for stuff like this. This has been going on since October of last year. Bungie has been notified of the issue. They're not doing anything about it and ultimately it's up to Sony whether or not they're going to do anything about this person. It's like what can you do? He's going from PS4 to PS4. You can't stop them all. You can but you end up fucking the other people who actually own the PS4s who's paying to have the service. That's not fair to them. So there's ultimately no real way to kind of fix this. This is garbage, but there is a way to fix this. I, I'm sorry, there is a way to fix this. Don't give these people the controller to your fucking game. It's that fucking simple. I can't stress that enough. You don't really think about what could happen. I can't blame the kid, you know, it's not my place, but it is what it is. There was an update that talked about how Kermit the Frog was like, I had no idea, and I was gonna call bullshit on it, but now this new story came up, and I'm glad I waited before I put this up. I appreciate you guys sticking out, watching the video. Don't forget to share, comment, and subscribe, and I will talk to y'all later. Peace. If you really look at yourself, you will be speechless. What happened to being doctors and teachers? What happened to being your brother's keeper? Nowadays, kids more worried.